Hey guys, Michelle here from Cashel Creations and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have had a great week so far, depending on when you're watching this. I just wanted to show you a mini haul that I collected from scrapbook.com and from Joann's. And so I wanted to share them with you. Um, back on May 6th weekend, they had an international scrapbook freebie event going on where they gave three freebies away. And of course, those freebies weren't required with a minimum purchase. Um, sometimes their freebies do require either $20 or sometimes $25 uh, minimum purchase, which it will state it on the freebie. Um, these particular ones did not, but I did need to place some an order for some more, um, what are these called? Sleeves, I guess clear sleeves. So I figured since I'm going to be paying for shipping anyways, I might as well just pick those up. So they had the freebies going on, which is a sticker. It's basically I Love National Scrapbook Day. Um, it is International Scrapbook Day, but um, that's just how they worded their sticker. So this was free. They also had a glitter brush marker. I believe this is the color. It doesn't have a name on here, but um, I do know that if you look up their colors, they probably will give you a variety of colors. It kind of looks like the Wink Stella. I have not tried this yet, so I will let you guys know. But this was another freebie. And then they had this magical pack of paper, and I do love my mouse. So I picked this one up, again, because it was free. <laughs> so I wanted to check it out and see um, what kind of papers they had inside. I don't believe um, it kind of gave you an idea on the front cover, but I wasn't sure if they were double-sided or what. So here we go. These are 6x6 six six papers. So here is the first one, which you get two of. And on the back says Magical Day, which is super cute. And this one are two fireworks. And on the back it says Magic Fireworks. So I guess you can go like that if you wanted to. And here you have one of the mouse ears on both sides. And then you have one with polka dots. Oh, and then you have uh, Mickey's pantaloons. This one is a blue Mickey Mouse heads. Oh, and then you have Main Street on the other side. And then here are some polka dots with some cutter parts. Super cute. And then this one is oh, same as front and back. And then you have Magical Day. Now, I thought this was pretty cool that you can combine front and back if you're doing a double page layout. And then they kind of go together. So that was, I thought that was pretty neat. So this again was the 6x6 six six paper pack. I think this is Scrapbook Customs SC. I do know they have other um, information, or not other information, other products in this line. Yeah, Scrapbook Customs. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then of course my intention was these 12 by 12 or 13 by 13 um, clear sleeves. Now, I purchased a bunch of these way back in the day from Michaels when they had a clearance. And I do use them for my stickers. I do uh, organize my stickers um, by theme or by whatever the collection I have. Um, one is all Disney, but then I have all Christmas. Then I have some that are just animal themed. Some are just baking. But some of mine, which are the holiday themes, which are Christmas and Halloween, <laughs> are exploding at the seams. So I decided to pick up some to see if I can make it a little bit more uh, workable <laughs> in my little cubby space. So I'm going to see about reorganizing that and maybe figuring out, do I really need everything that's in there? Because uh, they're quite old that are in there, even though we can use glue. I'm not sure if I would ever use them, so I might hand them off to my niece. So that's what i picked up and then i've been looking at some youtube channels and i came across this brand which kind of gives me a tim holtz vibe vintage vibe um and i wanted to try it out i've i think i have some of the elizabeth craft designs uh dies but when i saw that she had a i just want to call it mixed media paper uh, because everything is already done for you in the sense of layering or distressed. Um, and then what I also like is that it's double-sided. 
So if none of you have ever come across this before, I think it's pretty cool. If you are a Tim Holtz fan or just like the vintage look, definitely check it out. Um, this is book two. She has five books and I think book six is, six is coming out soon. So I put a reminder on scrapbook.com for it. Um, I could not find book one and three or four. And book five is in my wish list. <laughs> I'm waiting for me to see about when there's more um, freebies that I want to obtain and then maybe place my order. So I just find this so pretty. Um, so let me see if it tells you what the size of the cardstock is. So it's about seven and a quarter by 10. So I think that's a pretty good size where you can use it to whatever size um, craft you're, you're making, whether it's a page, an album, a folio, a tag. I just, I find this so, so lovely. And then I just love how you have all the colors. So you see, you kind of see some of these things that you do find in the Tim Holtz um, ideology. And that's what kind of drew me to this. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I, I do not see anything duplicating. <laughs> but I will keep going through because I know that online you can't really see all the pages. And sometimes that's a little irritating because you don't know if you want to make the investment. Look at all these cute little tags that you can fussy cut. You can back them on um, lightweight cardstock and then put them on your embellishments. Of course, you know, again, with double-sided paper, you're always having to figure out which page you want to sacrifice. I know I say that sometimes more times than not, but it is the truth. I just love how the colors go. I think it's called monochromatic, where it, it fades like a rainbow in my mind, or at least the color spectrum. Okay, so we are getting back to the beginning again, right? Yes. Okay, so one thing I do want to point out, because you know you're watching this and not feeling it, here are lightweight car um, paper, I would say, because it's not cardstock, it's paper. And then when we get here, it is actually thicker cardstock. So I do want you to know that. So you do get two of each, which is nice because now you know you can choose which side of the paper you want to use. So when we come across those, those pages like this one, this actually is going to be backed on a thicker cardstock, which I didn't know this when I was reading the description. Maybe it's there and I didn't see it. So that is actually kind of nice. Let me see that little tiny one. I mean, you can kind of hear it when I'm flipping it. Here we go. So this is kind of cool because it's already on the thick card stock. So anyways, if you guys have ever um, used this product, let me know. Uh, I want to know if uh, how you liked it. Okay, so back here it says 7.5 by 10. So it's pretty thick. So I got that. And of course, since that was my second order, they still had this freebie, and so I picked up a second one. Again, it only is one freebie per order per day. So I didn't pay attention to that until I was realizing what it actually said, and then I'm like, wait, 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 wait. So if I place another order tomorrow, it's still available, I can get it? Yes. So, something to keep that in mind. Then I went to Joanne's, and I'm heading on a cruise this summer for a crafting cruise. And the um, host basically stated, you know, the lighting on the cruise ship is pretty spotty, so you might want to bring a portable light. And it so happened to me that when I was in the clearance section, I got one of these. Normally they're like $60. So for 40 bucks, I thought that was a good deal. Um, it actually is chargeable with your um, USB cord or your, you can plug it into your phone. And it charges right there so i'm hoping that this will fit in my suitcase without the box and use that on my trip so i'm really excited about that and then um i have this already in my stash 
but this said $3.97 but the SKU when it was ringed up was actually $2.97 so I picked up another one because obviously once I use them they're gone and I don't know if this is something that's retired or not but I wanted to add another one in my stash so it's just basically stencil chips you can either use them as a stencil or you can use them as is so I picked that one up then in the clearance section I found this um paper collection they did have a 12 by 12 option but i'm out of space <laughs> for my 12 by 12 to believe it or not um so when i saw that they had the six by six i said oh yes sign me up so i got one for myself so i can probably do cards or backgrounds or add them into a small folio um they aren't double-sided but you do get three sheets i believe no two sheets no three Jeez, I can't count. You do get three sheets of the same pattern, which is kind of nice. And you do get some foiling. Hopefully you guys can see that. So it's super cute. And here are some birthday, some hooray flowers. And then we have some triangles. And this is like a, what would you call it? Like glossy accents sort of glitteriness. This is so pretty with the, the ice cream cones. And then we have a doggy with a birthday hat. And then I love this with the pandas. My niece loves pandas. It's kind of probably what dragged me to this visually. And then here are some presents. And then we have some party hats. Oh, so this one has, that's so weird. This one has a double-sided paper. Okay, so I've never seen that before in a collection. So half the pad didn't have anything on the other side. And then these had, then these had um, backing to it. So bizarre. All right, that is super cute. The pattern of the design. Because it can really go either direction. And then you have some flowers. And then you have the same pattern again. And then some different arrangement of flowers. Let's see what's on the back of that. Some floral prints. And then we have um, whatever you want to call them, triangles, Dorito chips. <laughs> I mean, it can be anything you want to put it as. Kind of reminds me of, um, what's that TV show? Oh my God, it escapes me. Saved by the Bell. Sorry, I had to remember what it was. Um, and then we have a banner triangles and then we have some stripes of like a pinkish color same color but um, just an array of different things I guess it's like flowers and leaves look at this flamingo on a bicycle how stinking cute is that <laughs> then we have birthday candles and I think that's it yeah so this was a lot of fun. And then um, I saw someone haul this. Um, I think this is a new line with American Crafts. I, I've never seen it before, but um, they did have some other stamp options. But just note that for some weird reason, their um, packaging is so far down that you don't realize that you have another one under there. So there was another one of this. I didn't get it because it wasn't something I wanted to um, add to my stash, but it had like another another stamp underneath this and then there was two. So they do come with three. This I thought was at a reasonable price. It was $3.99. If you purchase them online on Joann's, I think you got a discount, but in the store there was no discount. So definitely check that. Um, the app or online may have a discount where the store does not. So definitely, Take that into consideration when you're going to Joann's. It's very frustrating, irritating. I always complain to the cashier because sometimes we just want to go in and have the inter interaction with people and then you find out when you get there, it's not the same deal. So <laughs> just forewarning you if you haven't come across that yet. This is pretty cool. Um, it has just basically like script. I don't really think it has, uh, here, let's just open it. Smart. 
So my eyes um, aren't the best anymore. And so I can't read it, but it seems like it does say something. So if you are good, then you can read them. Um, I do see up and at them, follow your heart, make time, love right now, move forward, be thankful, eat dessert first, you make my heart leap, enjoy the little things, you are, be fearless, don't overthink it, make time, love, move forward. So it just, it's very um, inspirational, it seems. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I cannot read that for the life of me. Um, but if you see this in your store, maybe you can. It's just like the font is too too close. <laughs> and just my eyes are not working for me right now. So um, anyways, I picked this up just to have as a background to my makes. And so I thought it was good to have on hand. I do have a few similar ones. But you never know which one works for what you're working with. Because sometimes the scale does impact what you're working on. So just something to think about whenever you are going through your stash or you're in the store, you know. So I got that one. And then the same uh, collection, again, I don't know if it's a specific person or if it's just American Crafts in general. But they had um, 162 pieces of ephemera. Now in the back, this is kind of what they show you that's in here. And so I'm going to take it all apart. They do have these tiny little map thingies. So that's there. And they're in gold. Gold foil. Hopefully you can kind of see that. So that's cute. And then let me put this up closer. So this is like a vellum. Travel is my therapy. Love that. And then this feels like a vellum, but... I'm not sure how you would dictate it that, but I think that's so cute. And then here's the one that you see on the back. Now this is cardstock paper, and there's nothing on the back, it's just the front. Great piece for layering. This reminds me of ideology. And we have a star. We have a little car on a circle. And again, another piece. Here's another vellum, Italy. There's like a stamp, or you could probably fussy cut that around if you want it to be a little bit more sharper, but as is, is fine as well. And then here's another piece, daily details, and then you have little flag banners with nothing on them, which is kind of nice. And then you have another um, travel notion. Here are some more stamps in different sizes, more tags. Oh, here's another bigger tag. That one, I guess, is like a banner. I forgot to say that. This one you could probably use as a tag. It does have a perforated hole or you can, you know, just cut it in half if you just want to put it as an underlay to your image. Here are some more ephemera bits, trip schedule. That would be kind of cool for a page. Riverside, Post, Sweden. Some more tags and banners, some more stamps now. So I really like how it's diversified into the locations. I mean, you don't need to go to these places to use this because you could be just doing a camping thing and this could be your wildlife adventure, right? And then you could probably stamp on top where you are, you know, your campsite or your location. You went to Tennessee, you could just put TN. So that's kind of cool. So I love this. And the colors are very generic in my mind. Oh, this is a cute one. And that's foiled again. Look at this one. You could probably use a, a knife with a circle point, not circle point, but like a half circle. Do a half circle here and make it like a bookmark, right? Or you could probably do something where you attach maybe a paper in the back to make it as a moving thing that comes in and out from behind your picture. That's super cool. I love that. Oh my god, look at this plane. Super, super cute. Love it. 
So here are just some more little stamps. Oh, now we have different planes and they are foiled, which are super neat. You could always raise them up to give it a, uh, here's Paris. Let's see what this is. Oh, look how stars. Then you have the globe. Okay, and here's another stamp, but it is um, transparency. It's not vellum. So that's kind of nice. Here is a railroad ticket. Oh, how cool. There's some perforation marks that you can take out if you want it, or you could just leave it as is. I love it. Here's another ticket. Oh, okay. So this was $7.99 at Joann's, and I think online you had 30% um, off. If not, I do know that the app has coupons that you can use. Just check whichever week you're going to make sure. I always suggest to be on your app before you get into the store because my Joann's, the Wi-Fi sucks. So um, I always hate when I'm in line, I'm trying to get onto the app and it just spins and spins and spins. <laughs> it's just like, come on, work already. Um, so that's just something I would give you as a tip. Definitely, you know, try to get on your Wi-Fi or turn off your Wi-Fi and then try to get on the app. Sometimes that works for me. I think it just depends on where you are or where your, your Joann's is, I guess. Okay, so this one's a desert. Look how cute! Oh, you can't see that. Okay. It's transparency, it's not vellum. I love this thing. Love it. Okay. I might, I might have to get another one of these. I don't know why, but I just like the variety. National Park. This one's vellum. Here's another one of all your checklist if you wanted to do that. Here's a coffee stain, that's vellum. Super fun. Here's another memo. Here's some stamps. Ooh, what else we got here? Okay, banner. Now there were other, um, this reminds me, oh, what does it remind me of? Pan American. So that is a transparency. I just feel like you put Pan Am in there and that's like Pan American for some reason. But I love it. Get off. Okay. And then we have another. This one feels like a sticker. Hold on, guys. Is this a sticker? No. Yes. Okay, it felt like a sticker, but it's not. Um, let's see. You have another stamp, a plane. I want to get to these vellums that are here. New York. Okay, so I'm going to use this paper, and we're going to put all of the vellums. These are vellums, so you can hopefully see that there. This is a postage stamp. Whoa. There's London. That's pretty. There's Explore. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. Hopefully you guys, okay, I'm gonna put some more and then I'll bring it up closer so you guys can see it. So these are vellum and that's why I'm putting them on the white paper because that way you guys can see them better. Aren't those beautiful? That heart is just perfect. Of course, depending on where you are, I'm in Florida so that's the, where I would put like a little heart, <laughs> little heart on the heart. So that's those. And then let's look at some others because there's more in here. Okay. There is a stamp for Australia. Here's another stamp. Hopefully that's the right way. Or like a coin. Here's another one. Here's, oh, backwards. USA. Oh, here's a bigger map, which is backwards. So that's pretty. Then we have another New York City, a little another train guy. Oh, and we have one of these. So let me put these on here and then show you.
You guys see all the different options you have. I love how it's not just the United States. It's like all over the world. It's pretty cool. Um, I think I have a few more in here. There's one for London. Um, oh, look, we have a navigation. That one's pretty. Oh, look, a sail one. There is a lot of these little mappy notes no thing okay so that's all the vellum nope i'm lying here's some more i like that airmail there are some ties we have france and then we have portland oregon any more oh we have one more we have a train Those are so cute. So those are the other ones. So I like you have a variety. You have um, the vellum, you have the transparencies, you have um, the cardstock, ephemera, and then the rest that I didn't put are um, this one. It's another foiled one. Here's another uh, it's not transparent. It's a... Oh my god, I just said it. Vellum. Sorry. Too many words for me to remember, I guess. <laughs> and it's a ship. It kind of looks like a pirate ship. And then we have this one. Let's start the journey. Another one. And then we have some more. Australia. Here's another. This one's Austria. And then we have another stamp. I mean, emblem. Oh, here's another uh, transparency I missed. Then we have some stars, which are gold. And then here's another vellum of a map. Oh, this way. Don't know. Upside down. trying to see if I see any names that make any sense to me but I do not to know where this is for so maybe someone in the comments or viewers might know here's one that looks like a map of some sort it's foiled kind of looks like an aerial map of I guess oceans or lakes or just heat depending on how you want to view it then we have some stamps we have a date, another banner, some more tags. You really get a lot of variety in this. I really, really like this. Here's another plane. Oh, look, cabin baggage in passenger's own care. Let's see what this one is. Another stamp, some more stars. And then the sizes are very different. Here's another um, flowery thing here. Let's see, it's, what's this? Another postcard. Here's another fragile vellum, which I know you can't see. Here is another transparency of a map. I don't know which way this goes. Any other transparencies? Let's see. I thought I got them all. Here's Canada. So here they go in person love it and then just a few little ones left we have another heart that's in a vellum that's backwards so it's exactly the same as the transparency one so it's kind of nice some more stamps all those stars oh my god look there's more under here Jeez, louise and there's your road trip okay and we have one that's italy we have another directional path oh we have some more stamps that are transparent hopefully you guys can see that down below another heart monument valley here's one that says adventure without that little thingy on it and you see that and then you have another one that is a stamp and these are more ephemera and then the back is the best moment. And then you have another ship. 
and then one that says Brazil. So that was a lot. It was more than I expected, to be honest with you, because the back <laughs> doesn't do its justice. I'm sorry. So um, I did see some more options of these. They did have a packs that were just transparent. They had packs that were just ephemera. Paper ephemera is what I'm referring to. But this was definitely a variety pack. Like I said, it was $7.99 in the store. If you do find it on sale, definitely pick one up if you're interested. I might go back and get another one when I find it on sale again because I used already my 50% coupon off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mini haul, which ended up being 30 minutes long. <laughs> Never understand how that ends up happening, to be honest with you. But I really do enjoy your time and your company and your comments. And hopefully you guys enjoyed me walking through it with you. Hopefully this helps you figure out if it's something that you want as well. And if you have any comments um, or advice for anything I'm providing to you guys in, in, in the way of content, please let me know. I'm always eager to learn and change things around that um, make sense. So thank you again for your time. Have a crafty day and I hope this inspires you to take something out of your craft room and to do something. I will catch you on the next video and have a great rest of your day. Take care.